how do we change our consciousness? We now know that there are techniques that allows people to have their consciousness and their vibrations change to a certain frequency that allows all the stuff I'm talking about to happen in a much easier, quicker, and um, less resistant way. And this is another thing that I wanted to ask you about. Do you use a mental coach? And have you ever been hypnotized? Have you ever worked with a mental coach at all? Only thing I did different this year was brain tap. And I tried it and I actually like let my body relax. I noticed the next day in training, like, dang, like this jujitsu, like I always struggled at jujitsu. I hated jujitsu. But mm -hmm. I finally, when I went to, I finally realized things I was doing. I was relaxed, paying attention to what Ricardo was saying, watching the small details. And he was like, bro, you look good today. And I was thinking, like, I think maybe that brain tap actually kind of helped. And I kept doing it. How often think, are you doing that brain tap? But yeah, at least twice a week. We have an adaptive nervous system. Just as an example, if we walk outside and it's cold, we'll begin to shiver to raise the temperature of our body. If we walk outside and it's warm, we're gonna to start to sweat. That's a physical thing we're seeing. But everything in nature resonates and we match that resonant frequency. We've taken that frequency following response and we've added it to light, sound, and vibration. Now, our sun has a frequency response. That actually, that frequency following response tells our brain, which is always matching its environment, it says, hey, it's time to wake up in the morning with the high levels of blue light. It's time to go to sleep with the higher levels of red light. And it basically tunes our brain and our body to do that. What we've done is we've mimicked nature and we've taken the sounds, the experiences and the vibrations of light, sound and vibration. We put an algorithm together and we put that in the background of each of our messages. We also have sessions that are just the algorithm. So if you're a doctor out there or you're somebody doing neurofeedback, we have sessions that can train you to go to alpha, theta, beta, delta, gamma. These are all sessions that are based on the process of frequency following response. We can actually increase your alpha, theta activity without you doing anything but closing your eyes putting the equipment on and going on a 10 to 15 or 20 minute session. So we, have, we designed the headset because you can get good, really good results with the app alone and you can use it with your own earbuds, your own earphones, whatever you think. But this adds light therapy. Right. So we have... Uh, yes, I don't know if you can see this here, but there's a series of lights embedded in the headset yeah. that goes... Of the <laughs> yeah, so it's called retinal flashing in the, the science called frequency following response. In all the studies we've done, what we show is that 90% of the people, the very first time they use this, will have a deep relaxation response. Mm -hmm. One of the studies showed a 38.9% improvement in neurological function and reduction of stress. So it's something you don't have to wait to get results with. You can instantly feel it. What we find is if you don't include light technology, what I mean by that is retinal flashing, there's, there's 300 times more mitochondria in the eyes than there are in the brain. And the eyes are attached to the brain, but the eyes are meant to absorb light energy. So our brain is always looking for ways to conserve energy. So when you close your eyes, your brain is literally gonna shut down a third of your brain's activity. We know this because of a group called NORA, the Neuro-Optometric Rehabilitation Association. We work tightly with them. In America even, uh, we have two insurance companies now that pay for brain tap. We have a we wow. have what they call CPT codes, where uh, doctors can now use it and prescribe it and get paid wow. back from insurance companies. The main reason it started with a group called Nora, the Neuro Optometric Rehabilitation Association, because they were proving that because they do a lot with concussions. They were proving that we were getting results, so they they would make the claims to the insurance company they were getting these great results. They said whatever you're doing is fine, we'll we'll pay for it. So that's just going to keep improving. With 2,000 ordered clinics using BrainTap, one of the questions that's always on the mind of our practitioners is, how do I take your 35 years experience and then share that with my patient base? The, what we do at our clinics and what we recommend you do is say, you know what? This is something that's gonna help maximize brain function. It's gonna lower your stress levels. It only takes 10 minutes and Dr. Porter's gonna explain it to you. Then put them on one of our, sorry, audios that we have with the BrainTap. I'm going to explain it to them in detail while they're experiencing it because this is something they really need to experience. It's like describing atmosphere to a fish. Until they get in the water and start swimming, they don't understand it. Our job is to help you to help all of your patients to learn about brain fitness and how they can maximize brain function.